Hello and you're watching Duke of Scopy TV. I'm Dara McDermott. I have Pascal Widmer in the studio and he is the CEO of Bank Kremer to have a look at the challenges facing the Swiss banking sector. Welcome today. Good morning, Doreen. So there has been a lot of pressure put on Swiss banks from both the US and Europe. What are your views on these pressures and what are the main challenges facing this sector? Yes, yes, you know, Switzerland is, um, is a hub for private banking since, uh, since, since the, the 30s and the 40s. So mainly we, we developed uh, high knowledge. Uh, we have very skilled people in Switzerland. The, um, the general landscape, political economy is quite stable. So it is technically a, a, good, a good place to do, to do banking and uh, in the center of Europe, of course, geogra geographically. Uh, you know and, uh, that Switzerland is not part of the European community, but still uh, it has a lot of exchange with our neighbors. So it's not that we can just say, well, we don't, we don't care much about what Germany, the French or the Italian are, are thinking about it. Clearly during this um, crisis, financial crisis, we are, we are we're going through and we have to speak about more crisis, not just only one started in 2008. Um, and there is a lot of pressure now for the, for, the, for the states of these different countries to have a more stable uh, budget and also to have probably more discipline if we think about some thousand countries uh, of Europe where paying taxes was not really an habit in the past. So now the focus is on these topics and of course uh, tax evasion and maybe banking secrecy were technically could be used uh, to maybe forget to put uh, and to fill your tax statement uh, is a focus. I think it's important to understand that even if you have a place where you can open an account and normally with all the privacy and I think it's very important to say privacy against bank secrecy uh, to be protected after the responsibility to, uh, to fill your, uh, your obligations are of the citizen of every country. Having said that now, Switzerland understood that anyway, in, the, in this world of transparency, some changes in the, in the way we, we were using the, the regulations and applying that to our first to our own citizen, but also to the citizen who will place some money in Switzerland uh, has to evolve which is what happened during the, the latest years. Uh, it started clearly in 2009, uh, but now we, we see some improvement in the movement. In terms of, of changes, clearly I think that um, nowadays Switzerland will apply the standards that are not really already existing in, in Europe and also uh, worldwide, but already going and progressing as we did in the past for the money laundering. I think Switzerland always has you know, uh, forward thinking standards. And clearly now we, we start applying among the 300 banks we have in Switzerland, standards that are already beyond what are doing other countries. Because you can trust me, if you try to open an account in our neighbors' countries, there is not so many questions as that we have already in Switzerland. So this is one thing. Clearly we are shifting to a world of more transparency and the customer base is also changing. Uh, which I think it's, it's the first thing to consider us amongst Europe and not as an island, clearly, yes. And in terms of finding solutions for this whole changing scenario, what sort of strategies do you recommend? Well, I think, anyway, w one thing will be to avoid it, to think that we can, um, we can counterweight or, or uh, fight against these changes. The changes are powerful changes in mentalities, in, in, uh, in economies, in politicals. So to me, one big mistake will be to try to fight at every cost, you know, and start to maintain a status quo. Status quo is, 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 is no question today. Uh, so clearly the business model of, of the banks, if I speak about our, our, our business, our industry, has to evolve. Has to evolve in clearly more onshore uh, fidelization that probably during the easy years we forget that what, what is the value of a customer onshore and just thinking about worldwide customers which I think every bank in private banking now are shifting the model against more onshore. It's clearly also uh, shifting to, to more asset management based services looking more into the investment and forget about the banking secrecy uh, as, as a product but looking to what really the service uh, has to be delivered to customers. So, 
investment is one service, the quality of that with the performance, but also the relationship that goes with private banking. And finally, wrapping things up, where do you see the future for Swiss banks? Well, I think, honestly, I think future is, is pretty bright. Uh, also, if we compare the situation that we have worldwide, um, we, have still, we still have a solid political environment, a very sound economy, which is, you know, an exception nowadays. If you look worldwide uh, on the other side of the ocean or in Europe, um, and also, you know, a, a country where it's in the middle of Europe, as we said before, but also our customers like to come in Switzerland. It's not a place that you just go on an island and you have nothing else to see. It's really a, a country with cultural, so I think to have uh, the grounds uh, is a good place to do business. Now, uh, having said that, I, s I continue to believe that in time of instability, all these, these, uh, these topics bring stability to the relationship. You need stability to, to have private banking relationship with customers. Uh, you need to have places where to sometimes slow down the peace, look into the investment of customers, try to, you know, cool down a little bit. could be very difficult with the market and with the environment. Uh, and I, I still believe Switzerland has a lot to offer in that. Um, to catch up on the mentality, you know, the, the competencies. Of course, concur concurrence is heavy, but sti Switzerland is still a reference for, for the customers. Pascal, it has been a pleasure having you in the studio today. My pleasure. Thank you, Doreen. Thank you. And thank you for watching Dukoscopy TV. That is it for right now, but we have plenty more coming up on Dukoscopy TV today, so make sure you stay tuned. Goodbye.